all right boys welcome back to another video i'm joking but <laughs> this is the long-awaited uh base tutorial that you guys have been waiting for for a while and um i'm here to show you guys today um i'm gonna do a little run through of the base and then we're actually gonna build it and uh do the interior as well but i've named this base the beacon for a reason because you guys if you know the definition of a beacon it's like a signal a warning stuff like that and i feel like as a solo player you know i give a lot of warning signals you know that i'm uh, a revenge kind of guy you know there's a lot of context behind it but yeah when i first built this base the only roof access i had was this ladder hatch here um but now it's further developed into like you know ways up and stuff like that i normally do series i mean i got episode two coming on sunday i couldn't drop it today so i didn't have time to edit uh a full 25 minute video so i'm dropping a base build but if you guys are new around here i do do solo series that i do bangers so if you want to go check out the channel after this you guys will not be disappointed enough talking let's kick into it so up here we got a sam site and a wind turbine never normally do these two things as a solo but now that i play like a savage and i raid people online and i get online raided i made these you know to stop mls and stuff like that we've got two turrets here and then we got obviously way up i'm gonna show you first right i think i removed some of the doors and they might just all be open i'm gonna show you a different entrance for this as well which i've updated so far um this ain't gonna be here anymore but yeah so down here we got the oil refinery we got a little secret loot room up here which i just put various stuff up here we got our first bedroom here and you got more boxes here for storage the way up is here now this used to be the way up right here but if someone breaks this they just have upstairs access as well i'm gonna build the base different from how this is you know made but you guys can definitely do it how you want to do it um let me just quickly grab an ak as well just to show you guys so if i grab the ak so through here locker tier two i know we have the tier two upstairs now so this space well when i built this i built this about a month ago this was just a concept and i used it in game but i changed a lot of stuff like where i place all these stuff you know but yeah you guys can use whatever version you want with the inside but here this is the new loot room we have very very nice with the shotgun traps and stuff like that we've got tier three here another locker here and then we've got another box this could be like for sofa boom whatever and then tc is hidden behind here look at the upkeep as well that is the upkeep so cheap for a solo i mean this is not even hard to get at all and like here this is not a foundation anymore i'll show you guys why in the tutorial there's a few things i will be updating to make it way more secure you know and this is upstairs we have another loot room here this is normally a bedroom but i have this as a loot room now because i get way too much loot as a solo so i don't have a secondary bedroom upstairs i just get it at the front but we have the ways up with the furnaces i normally have them ladder hatches now so there's a bunch of different things that i will be showing you guys in the tutorial but yeah you see what i'm saying you got full roof coverage on every corner you could imagine this is because people are going through doors i don't have this anymore because i don't feel it's a need but you can you know peeking through this and stuff but i don't have that anymore because I just learned to just jump out of the roof so let's get into the tutorial so i'm gonna show you guys just a little run through right i'm gonna show you guys a little run through so if you got a lot of stone or you're very limited on stone at the start of the way i'll show you how we can make it into a star i have two starters for this base is if i got a lot of stone i would uh make the starter base like just full out how it's meant to be so i do two foundations like lowered here one high foundation another high foundation one lowered another high and then I can jump one low one here and then another high one here let me show you this so this will be the first starter like uh, foundations that you'll be placing down so just make sure you have that in mind now this is normally a foundation but this makes the base weaker near tc so what we do now is we do a half wall here and i'll show you why later and then here is a half wall and then this is all you need for the starter base literally that's all you need and then just wall it up okay if you can get this down you got enough stone this is like the best so say i have enough stone which i normally do farm enough stone to get this down i don't like playing out the three triangles which i will show you why so if you only have a little bit of stone which i don't know why you'd have that little stone anyway on the star wipe you can just bring a foundation here as low as you can yeah raise it up with a triangle and then just the same concept like that right make sure this is twigged though you're just getting it so you know where your bunk will be like the level from the floor and then you just simply just do this double door frame here remember and then you can literally play out of this for however long you need literally just do that so this is a start that you can do just this right here but i don't know why you'd have that little stone anyway there's not really a point to make this it's like way too small you know but you can definitely do it like this you know i've done it for a wipe already doing it like uh this but say you are using this uh start base this small if you want to expand out all you need to do let me just remove this door because it's annoying you just do this 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 
and then another double door here that's all you'd have to do you know so now you have a lot more room to work with you can do it like this like 100 percent. it's no no biggie this is okay as well so when you have more stone and you're ready to expand out you just come out it's a secondary uh airlock just walls like this double door here and a door here and there you go this is the next stage i'd suggest following these stages when you're building a base on uh, real server because now you have two doors here now what i do is i have more stone i'm just doing this in the stage that i always take so honeycomb you want to make sure these foundations on the squares are both lowered okay because you can't do a raised foundation on a half wall here so just do half walls make a little foundation yourself i do this so it's uh not bait this will be raised foundations here and now the back okay i'll show you the back right now if we had a foundation here and we had walls here for example it'd be literally two c4 straight into core right you don't want that so when we have a half wall here it's basically honeycomb now so we can do our own you know foundation and then a wall so now it's honeycombed now this honeycomb everything else might be a bit laggy on the server because there's a lot of people on the server but that's honeycomb right now and you can survive like this for a while as long as you do the rooftop sheet at least so that no one can you know top down you so now this guy expanding more so when you come out of here one high foundation here and then two lowered ones right here and then one uh half wall here and then the rest you can just fill in like this same with this one you're going to want to build a foundation just like this you can use this as a, a room i don't use this as a room i just fill it in it's too close to you know the way in for the core here you just do triangles throughout the whole thing it's just how it should look just like that now mimic the square again because this will be your first bedroom at the front and i suggest building this like this already just so you have it done you can do this a triangle as well if you want more space but i prefer square so if someone breaks this they don't get top access uh, to the loot rooms here then we're gonna get two frames here make them sheet i make them sheet you can keep them stone if you're trying to save resources then uh, let me show you this when we build these two squares out here make sure you're doing this twig by the way i'm just doing stone we want to move that one because this will be for the refinery and then this will be like this if you do the rooftop here for the way up first you won't ever be able to put the shop front here but yeah just make sure you have the shop fronts placed first that's all you need to remember because then you won't mess up build a rooftop here and then fill this in and now we build two windows here i normally had this as a ladder hatch i don't have it anymore so i just fill that in i have this as a single door frame now and then i have this as a double door frame so now you got airlock here as well this is actually look right now make sure you get a triangle here for the ladder hatch build this like this and like this like this build this with a floor here half walls here rooftops here and then fill that with a wall and now you just go around the outline of the honeycomb make sure you fill this square in as well so now it should look like this and the front should look like this so the stage it should be out right now now we just fill in the honeycomb back here so like this and then we build these rooms out so this will be a loot room here this will be a way up which i'll just do this for now this would obviously be twig you know at the start just so you know you can get the base down make these frames as well and you'll make a uh, you'll make this a frame as well and you make this a frame as well these will be furnaces so now what we do we do the roof so this is how you should look right now so now the rooftop we just fill this in now we have the two entrances to our roof so this entrance you obviously come from this way but you still come out the same way like this you know so you get one here keep that stone you can look down and make it easier to place these as well and then door door and then there you go and now we just come to the front here get a stone ceiling here half wall stone ceiling but this is what you should be looking like right now very nice compact design so what i do now is i honeycomb this with sheet right so i sheet this up here this up here this this and then i just build out stone again make the same foundations 
Make your own foundations. I'm going to have to fly for this. But it's the same thing. You just got to do a little build up. And now this is honeycombed even more. So that's how I leave it like this. So we have two turret spots on this base. Okay. We have one here. We're going to build half walls over here. Boom. Boom. Let me grab turrets real fast. So these will be turret locations. Very good locations. You have one here. And one here. Now when you're building out the rooftops. You just get triangle ones. And you just look like this from the sides. You just have to give it a little look on the angle. It's how it should be looking. It looks very clean, dude. I love it, honestly. Just like that. Now, you guys can build this how you want to build it. I'm just going to do it because for the sake of the video, I'm just going to fly. I normally just ladder up. But you just want to go up free from these triangles, right? From the doorways, you just want to go up free with stone. Just like that. Now, I used to have two turbines on here so get the triangles facing this way away from the door so you'd have one here facing away from the door so it should look like this but like here i used to have two turbines like one two but there's no need for two a sound site is better you know you just need to ladder up and just look down a bit position it there same if you ladder on this side just you know place the sound site wherever you want i just do it always in the middle so like here and then there you go. This will be the base at its final form right here. If you sheet the honeycomb and all that stuff, it's up to you. But this is how I always leave it every wipe. Literally how you see it right now. Very, very nice, dude. I absolutely love the space. Now, you can use sandbags or you can use the concrete uh, barricades. I use the concrete barricades. So you want to do twig here. But well, I ain't really twig. we we'll do twig here. Because if you don't have twig, you can't place these. So make sure you do twig. And I line it up with this little triangle thing here. See this triangle? I line it up with this. And then I make them in the middle. So like this. Line it as far back as you can go. And then this is the outside done. This is the final form. You have so much peaking advantage of everything. Even here, you got cover from this. Literally everything, you know? So online raiding is so much more easier to defend you have height here as well more crevices now i can shoot you and it looks good as well like i love the space so majority of the time i'll get a uh, cctv station here fits so perfect here honestly it's like tucks in so nicely you see always have that there over here get this oil refinery as far in the corner as you can get it just like this this is going to be an electric room here and another few boxes down here just get a frame here get the garage door now you can do a box sticking out. This thing sometimes is stubborn. Just like this. Just like that. So that'll be that. Then you can get electric room here. I don't really need to teach people electric. But you can get another garage door right here. Make this facing in. And then what I do suggest as well. Small box will make it easier to get in and out, you know. So just get it off this corner here. You can still fit the electric stuff here. It just makes it a little bit easier to get out. So you got a little loot room down here. We'll start off with here. Which is what you can do. What I normally do is have a ladder here. Just briefly to get this box up. If you can't make that jump, you'll be able to make it soon, trust me. Just get this as far back as you can get it. Like that. Then come on the ladder again. Get a small box down. And you can take the ladder back. So now you got your little loot room thing here. All this will be garage doors out the wazoo. Like literally out the wazoo. Uh, let me just make this sheet. I always make my frame sheet. I just always do that. These will be garage doors out the wazoo. Up here you get two boxes. Like this. And like this. And then obviously you can get your small boxes down as well. And then do this one. Just like that. Now you got more storage and stuff up here, you know. Shotgun trap. Just like that. Now down here we're going to get a bedroom set up. So it'll just be very simple one bed then you can do one lock or you can do two lock i'd recommend do two locker style right here then you have all that done and now we do the upstairs get the ladder hatch facing so the ladder opens this way now build the suit room here first with a ramp here just like that here as well these will be these will be furnaces here so you get one two three one two free get that get that stone stone then when you're logging off you can just do bam bam you know easy now what i like to do is i like to get a sheet door here now 
And over here, I just get a sheet door. Facing outwards like this. Now we get another loot room here. This used to be a bedroom for me, but because I get so much loot, I need that as another loot room. And that's another loot room here. And what you can do is, where is my lockers? Right here. You can get another locker here. Leave that like that. Now what I always do is I get the tier 2 here now. With a small box underneath it to make more meds and stuff if I ever need to. And that is basically it. And then what we do here is we get more boxes here. So we just get one, two, and then three, four. And then here is where we get the other bedroom. I'll just remove this door now so it's not annoying. Have the double door right here. And what you can do is just add a small box to the kit or something, you know? Because you have that locker on the other side. I wish I just made lockers. So, like, you just... The locker is just, like, one of these, you know? So, make sure you do this. Make sure you have it stone before you do this. Just to make it easy on yourself. There you go. Now you can make it HQM. Now we're going to do this twig. Half full here. HQM. HQM. Now you build the triangles off this to get the boxes down here. Just like this. HGM. So now if they break this, they can't loot this. It's just scoffed. Because of this triangle here. Make sure to lock all these boxes as well, especially for solo, man. It's so good. Just build these out. Just like that. Triangle go here nicely. Make that sheet. Same again with these goes up you know i'd say as well i'd suggest um let me just destroy that if you want to get a campfire here get it placed down before the boxes it's like right here now you can get the boxes down you can't get the campfire down with the boxes here first because look it just overlays just about on here so say i was to break it i can't get this back down so make sure you have this first nice twig get that there you can obviously still do this triangle but i prefer with a square so I can normally keep all the good loot here. I don't really have the ramp thing anymore. Just don't really like it that much. So I just do this. That's how I have it now. And now you want to make sure these are armor doors when you are at the stage. Have an armor door here and here. Literally perfect. Same here. You want an armor door. Um, I don't have a locker there anymore. I don't normally have anything here. I literally leave that empty. Uh, what we can do is hide TC as well. So you can hide it just simple like that and just do the same on this side so it's not bait, you know. You can obviously take more perfection on getting it straight on straight, but I just do it like that. And then right here, make sure this is a garage door first and then you can do this armored or gr uh, garage door. I mean, I prefer garage door mainly, but I'd suggest do armored. And now, get this large box down here. And then the small box here. I lock all my boxes when I'm solo, by the way. So now you have that done. And then tier three would go right here, like this, with a with with with, with a small box underneath, like that. And then yeah, what I do now is I just get a carpet down here, just make it a little bit more cozy. And I get my bag in the middle, and that's how I have it. Normally the whole wipe just like this. So if you did enjoy this video guys, be sure to like, subscribe and follow my Discord. And yeah, check me out if you want to see series. I drop a new video every two days playing solo white. So, but yeah, I hope you like the beacon. This is a very good base. I normally get it to this stage right here and I'm just chilling, you know. I do a small compound. I don't really do externals because once you get wiped, you know, I don't play again. I know a lot of you have been waiting a while for this base. But if you do enjoy it, you know, let me know in the feedbacks and all this stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next future videos. Thank you.